Okay guys, uh, here I am again with temple style uh, from A.L. Basam book. Till now we have discussed Chola, Chalika, Pallava uh, and Bizoinagar temple. Now I am going to discuss Orissan temple. Okay, Orissan temple is one of the most noticeable temples uh, style developed in North India. Okay, now what are the characteristics of Orissan temple? Now, say number one. North Indian Shikhara in its final form, Shikhar. Okay, the Shikhar of the temple, especially the Shikhar of the North Indian temple, gets maturity and get, get, um, got its final form in Orissan temple. Example is Lingara's temple at Bhubaneswar. Lingara's temple at Bhubaneswar actually shows the uh, maturity of North Indian Shikhar. So, North Indian Sikhar in its final form is visible in Orissan temple. Number 2, Amalaka. Amalaka is the Amalaka is a flat stone disc okay that has been seen in the temple. Sorry, that has been seen in the tower. It, that has been seen in the tower of the each structure of the Orissan temple. What is Amalaka? <coughs> Amalaka is the flat di stone disc okay that has been found in the upper part of the tower tower means Sikhar okay upper part of the Sikhar uh, that arises from each structure of the uh, temple its structure means temple might be in different structure in Urissan temple and in each different structure there is a rising tower in upper part of this rising tower there is a flat stone disc and it is called Amalaka to show the second feature is Amalaka okay and what is the third feature third feature is Kalasa K A L A S A Colossa. Okay, it is called col Colossa and it is round. Finial, uh, it is round, it, its uh, shape is round and its finial form. Amal Colossa is the topmost part of the rising tower. I already told you that Amalaka is a flat stone disc that has been seen in the rising tower that arises from each structure of the temple and above the Amalaka it is colors of flat it is colors of a finial form or uh, the vas form vas v a s vas means a colors of form it is like a rounded figure that has been placed above the Amalaka so where is the position of Colosso? The position of Colosso is above the Amalaka in the rising tower and the position of Amalaka is below the Colosso in the rising tower. Mind this, okay? Don't confuse with the position. Amalaka is not the, in the top position of the rising tower. It is Colosso who occupies topmost position in rising tower, raising tower and Amalaka actually uh, positions below the Colosso. Okay? Then another some characteristics are that there are some actually uh, uh, Orissan temples are actually bears different structures. Okay, for example, Bhok Mandir, Nath Mandir, Jagamohan, and Deul. What are the different parts of the Orissan temple? Bhok, ma Bhok Mandir, Nath Mandir, Jagamohan, and Deul. Bhok Mandir means a hall of offering. Nath Mandir means dancing hall. Jagmohan means assembly hall and sanctuary. Deul means sanctuary. Mind that D E U L Deul. It is a key term. Okay, when writing answer, you can use these special words. Mm -hmm. It will increase your marks. Deul. D E U L Deul. Deul is the sanctuary where main deity is placed in the Urissam temple. It is called Deul. Okay, these are the different structures or features of tem Orissan temple. Orissan temples are divided into different parts. It is called, they are called Bhok Mandir, Nath Mandir, Jagamohan and Deul. Bhok Mandir means hall of offering, Nath Mandir means dancing hall, Jagamohan means assembly hall and Deul means sanctuary. Okay, it is the fourth feature. Then another feature of the Orissan temple, fifth feature is that these structures, I already told you, Jagamohan, the Bhokmohan, Jagam, uh, Bhokmohan, uh, Bhokmohan, Nath Mandir, Jagamohan, Deol. These are the different structures of Orissan temple. But these temples are actually not in, in, intricately connected. These these fissures, these fissures are generally separated from each other. Okay, Deul is separated from Bhokmandir, Bhokmandir is separated from uh, 
देउलि सेपारेटेड फ्रम भोग मंदिर भोग मंदिर सेपारेटेड फ्रम नाथ मंदिर नाथ मंदिर इज फ्रम जगमोहन ओके इन दिस वे दिस फीचार्स दिस डिफरेन्ट स्ट्राक्चर डिफरेन्ट पार्ट अफ दरिस्तान टेम्पल आर नट इंट्रिगेटलि कानेक्टेड बट दे आर सेपारेटेड बट द थिंग इज देट दो दे आर सेपारेटेड दे आर कानेक्टेड बै ए भेस्टिवल भेस्टिवल मीन्स अंतराल इन आर रोड आई अलरेडी टोल यू इन माइ लास्ट लेक्चर बिफोर टू लेक्चर वी हेव डिसकस ह्वाट इज इन आर भेस्टिव Bull or what is antoral? If you have any confusion, go to that lecture and listen to what is vestibule. Okay, now you hear you know, what is this? That uh, Orissa temples are generally various different parts, but the different parts are not intricately connected. They are separated from each other, but they are not totally separated. They are actually connected by inner um, way or inner road that is called vestibule or antoral. Mind this. then another uh, uh, feature of the orissan temple is that the same is same style but different sizes same style but different sizes what happened you see i already told you that orissan temples bears different parts shank uh, deul bhog mandir nath mandir jagamohan okay all these are separate from one another uh, not totally separated but integrated by in our way or uh, that is called vestibule and this shape and style of all these structures are same okay from devol to jagmohan uh, the uh, shape and uh, style of all these structures are uh, structures are same but the different is where the different is in their shape okay from devol to jagmohan their shape actually decreases in devol there is a great tower okay shikhara is large and high okay it is very rising okay and from devol to ja bhog mandir the uh, uh, size actually decreases okay size of the tower okay size of the structure actually decreases okay and from the bhog mandir to uh, nath mandir size the end decreases okay from nath mandir to jagamohan size decreases so what is the characteristics the style and shape the style and shape is same but size is different from the devol to the uh, devol to other parts the size of the devol means Sanctuary is the highest uh, or larger, and from it the uh, size uh, actually decreases. Okay, size actually decreases from devil to other parts. Mind this thing. Then another characteristics is that. Uh, the temples of Orissan, Orissan temples are uh, decorated in exterior part. They are in inner part is totally not adorned, unadorned. Mind this thing. The exterior tem parts of the Orissan temples are only adorned. A apart from this, the inner part of the Orissan temples are quite unadorned. It is another feature of the Orissan temple. now another characteristic is that possible influence of eroticism it is generally said that black pagoda or konark this is a black pagoda it is a temple in konark it is also it is dedicated to sun god surya surya it is dedicated to surya and its uh, shape is like the chariot of sun its uh, entrance is like chariot of uh, its entrance is like a uh yeah, like representing the it entrance the entrance hall of this black pagoda in konark represents the shariot in who is the sun god rides across the heavens it entrance hall is uh, actually depicted like a shariot where sura uh, devata sura um, the sun god is actually traveling in this way it is depicted it is one of the, and in this temple there are some maithuna maithuna fissures actually it is called, some someone says that it bears the influence of sexual mysticism and this sexual mysticism is the impact of tantric influence okay but it is not clear okay so while writing answer we have to say that the possible influence of tantricism or mystical eroticism in this way you can describe here okay and these are the main features of orissan temple but one thing is that uh uh one thing is that i already told you ki orissan temples the different features are actually like bhog mohan bhog mohan are separated from one another and integrated by a 
inner way or vestibule but this sun temple means uh, this black pagoda of konark actually exception here this black pagoda of konark here different features are not separated from one another it is integrated and what are, i am repeating the features of purishan temple again number one north indian chikara in its final form number two amalaka number three kalasa number four different Number four, like different parts, Bhuk Mandir, Nath Mandir, Jagamohan, Deul. Number five, these are separated from one another and integrated by a vestibule. Number six, same style and shape but different sizes. Number eight, possible influence of tantricism 